Her gezer avcıdan sonra şimdi uzay misyonu... Don't think that being number two is no big deal. Not many people get to lunch alongside Turkish President Erdogan. And there's good reason. Tuva Atasever is getting the attention. The Ankara native served as a backup astronaut to Alper Gerzarafca here on the left when he became the first Turk in space back in January. And now it's Tuva's turn. I never had such a dream that there was a path in my own country where I could realize this dream as one of Turkey's first two astronauts. There was no such example in front of me. As I listened to the fantastic nature of this experience from them, the dream of experience also developed in me. Tuva is smart. He graduated from Bill Kent University and co-founded two virtual reality companies. Two years ago, he applied for the first ever astronaut selection campaign of the Turkish Space Agency. And now, at just 31, he'll fly on the Virgin Galactic flight, traveling with three paying customers, as with this previous Virgin flight. The flight will last about 90 minutes, and technically, it will only cross the line into space and weightlessness for about four minutes. But Tuva will be conducting seven experiments, including one attached to his head. He'll try to learn more about why bodily fluids gather toward the skull during weightlessness and cause health problems. And once they all land, Tuva will try to offer the kind of inspiration that he didn't get as a kid. We'll try to excite them so that they can build on these processes that we are going through and have already gone through and take our country even further. And Tuva's launch will also mark a milestone for Virgin Galactic. It'll be the final launch of this first phase of the program, which began in 2021 with a handful of crude launches. Phase two starts next year with a more ambitious goal, three crude launches per week. Andy Rosen, TRT World.